Problem 13. Let R be the region in the complex plane consisting of all complex numbers z that can be written in the sum of two complex numbers z1 and z2. We're also told that z1 lies in the segment with endpoints of 3 and 4i, and we're trying to find, with z2's magnitude being at most 1, the integer value closest to the area of R. So to do that, okay, I cannot draw 2. So with this, what are we supposed to do? Well, we're trying to find the area of a shape, so obviously we have to construct this shape to know how to solve for that area. To do this, it's very simple, because we're told, first of all, what the z1 term lies on in terms of the line that it goes. It goes on 3 and 4i. So in the complex plane, this is the real um, axes, this is the imaginary axes. So a line that goes from 3 and 4i would probably look something like this if I use the line tool. It would look something like this. Now with this information, we're also told another information, that z2 has a magnitude of most 1. Now, z2 can be imagined like the same thing. So first of all, what does, like, how do you actually like visually represent this? Well, any point on this line right here can be a potential value of z1. So what this looks like is, it would look something like this, where I have an arrow going towards it to represent that distance. So with this understanding, if I were to have a z2 line that has a magnitude of most 1, then likewise it would be a term, it would be a shorter line, except this magnitude would be 1. And this line can be moved around, because again, any region in space of this coordinate axis can have, you know, this term right here with a magnitude of 1, and that would satisfy the conditions for z2. Because again, z2 is a complex number, it's on the complex plane, therefore it would work. So, in other words, I can shift this line to touch on this original line that represents all points in the z1 complex term. So you can imagine how this would look like. If all of these terms, all of these lines branching off of it can at most be 1, then you should immediately suspect that we should have a very special shape, which is that we should think of a circle, because a circle is equal distance from a singular point from the center, right here. And the equal distance just means that it has the same radius throughout. So with this understanding, that must mean the extreme points of this shape must be located at the end, where there's a circle right here, and there's a circle right here. Then this circle can be moved around for throughout this entire line. So we could branch out by connecting these two lines right here to represent that. So that's a very bad looking shape. So let's actually draw it out in a much more nicer fashion. It'll just look like a conical shape, something like this. Now, the big thing to take away is, is that we have the shape we need to solve for the area. And we can do this because we have the coordinate plane to help us. If we were to cut this off to form a rectangle, oh, what happened there? to have a rectangle and two semicircles, we just need to find the area of this circle right here with radius 1 and the area of this rectangle. Well, the area of a circle with radius 1 is easy because the area is pi r squared, so this becomes pi. That's the area of the first one. Now, what about the area of the rectangle? Well, the rectangle, this diameter right here, right, of the circle is equal to 2. Why is that? Because the radius is 1. And therefore, the diameter would be 2 times that, which is just 2. So that's 2. Let's signify that with a 2. But what is the length of this segment right here? Well, that segment can be interpreted as the distance from, if I were to draw that a bit nicer, it would be the distance of this right triangle, right? You see the right triangle here. Let me draw in red. You see this right triangle right here. It would be that hypotenuse. And what is that hypotenuse? Well, that hypotenuse is easy to solve for because the hypotenuse we're given, which is that this is a magnitude of 3, this is a magnitude of 4, therefore the hypotenuse has a magnitude of 5, therefore this width will be 5, and therefore the area of the rectangle will be 2 times 5 to get 10. So pi plus 10 will be the area of this entire shape and the region of R. But we're trying to find the area closest to this in integer form. So 3 pi, 3.14 is the special value you should know for pi, and that would be roughly equal to 3. And therefore, 3 plus 10 must give 13, bringing you to answer choice A.